<laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. We have a very specific mission today. This is my good friend, Kara Eckerman. What's up, y'all? Happy Valentine's slash Galentine's. Our, our very specific mission today is to, one, just spread some love with you guys because it is the time of love. Yes. And number two is to inspire you to be just a little bit healthier this Valentine's Day. A little bit. Just a little, a little bit. bit. And we're going to show you how you can do it in a delicious way where you don't feel like you're being deprived in any way. Exactly. I'm ready for it. Okay. So first, I have a poem for you, Kara. Oh, okay. <laughs> like our little cheers that we normally have? Uh -huh. okay. Yes. This is a poem for you. So, okay. Okay. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Love is in the air. But so is the flu. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to check if you had your daily wellness shot. <laughs> Can you still see it in my teeth? Because I definitely did. It's still on my Invisalign. <laughs> But seriously, guys, <laughs> this is, we're obviously still in flu season. We're yes. in corona season. Oh there you go. You're doubling up today. But guys, here at Truline, we have created, oh gosh, in my opinion, the world's best wellness shot. There are nine essential immune boosting vitamins and minerals in this packet. Most notably is one that we like to fight over how to say. You go first. Turmeric is how I always say it. How do you say it? I say turmeric. The R is silent. Turmeric, which I feel like more people say turmeric now than turmeric. But either way, it's a powerful little orange root, which it yeah. gives the beautiful color to our wellness shot. There's over a thousand milligrams of vitamin C. Yes, which we know is really important in keeping our immune system strong. There is zinc. There is vitamin D. There is ginger. There's... So many. I know. But and I'm obsessed. Tell us, okay, when do you drink it? Why do you like it? Well, okay. I've never been consistent with, I mean, I told you after logging my food, I realized I was like low in iron and calcium. Mm -hmm. And I know that this stuff I don't get in my daily, you know, like diet, I guess right. you would say. Those vitamins, those yeah, minerals those vitamins. that and we like, need. We were texting yesterday. I was like, I can't get sick. Like, right. I mean, we, right. same like you, you know, we work every day. Mm -hmm. um, so any little bit like I can get to help me stay healthy, exactly. like I'm here for it. Exactly. But it tastes amazing. It, it really does taste good. And I've been doing it because it's been well chilly for, for us here in California. Mm -hmm. I drink it after. Degrees. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I will drink it after. So on Days I train in the morning, mm -hmm. I will drink it after the 6.30 time, and I make okay. it hot. Ooh. I know. I make it like a little tea. It's really good. I and really then, taste the the cayenne. Yes. When it's hot, you like it's like delicious warm tea, but then there's like a little kick. Yeah, and I like it kind of like cleans your sinuses out it a does. little bit it or does. something like that. It absolutely like that. does. <laughs> um, or I'll drink it after my morning workout, like before awesome. my protein shake. Awesome. So, so guys, best. one of the biggest differentiators between this wellness shot and the popular, you know, way more well-known vitamin C wellness shots on the market is that ours has no sugar. And when you think about like we're, the point in a wellness shot is to boost our immune system. Yes. If you're taking that boost of vitamins with refined sugar, it completely cancels itself out and it's doing more damage than good. Right. Yeah. So, and even just drinking orange juice, which I recently found out that a glass of orange juice has the same number of grams of sugar as a Snickers bar, which is, that's kind of scary. So we need our, we need the immune boosting vitamins and minerals because we don't need sugar. And so what we did is we used stevia and monk fruit like we have in all of our products so that it tastes good. It tastes so good. And all those natural flavors of ginger and the cayenne and all of that comes through, which is really awesome. Yes. So stay healthy and well this Valentine's and Galentine's Day. Yeah. Okay, so we have a really fun recipe. I just came up with this, guys. And I know Kara's super excited. I am. Because she loves cookies. <laughs> I do. I do. So this is my favorite protein. This is our strawberries and cream. It's a premium whey protein. Guys, it's got the little pieces of strawberry in it. It like they're freeze-dried. Yes. It reminds me of something, but I can't think of what it is. But yes. Smell that. 
This is really rude. You're doing this to me. I can't. I know. Do. You can't eat them yet. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, they smell so good. <laughs> so, okay, what I did, guys, because you know, most of the time when I make protein cookies, they're smaller. I made like giant Valentine's cookies here. So this was 12 cookies. If you wanted smaller <laughs> cookies, oh, we'd want that. you could do 24. But what I really Nobody love about that. this, guys, is how moist. I don't, you could probably even see like a little difference in the color. And it makes it, I don't know, it's just so moist and so strawberry rich, the flavor and smell. Every, okay, since they are so big, every cookie has 13 grams of protein. Okay, so basically cookies for breakfast. Yes, exactly. This Valentine's Day, cookies for breakfast. Yes. Okay, guys, let's jump right into this recipe yes, because please. I know that's what you want. Yes. That's why you're here. Yes. Okay, guys, so we are going to be using our food processor, which I know you have by now <laughs> because almost all, if you want to take really healthy ingredients like protein powders and nuts and things, and you wanna turn them into delicious baked goods, you have to have a tool to help you make it happen. Yes. And this so, yeah, just a basic food processor yeah. is like necessity levels. Yes. Okay, necessity so levels. I realized that I need, you know what, I'm just gonna grab this, perfect. Okay, so the first ingredient, you're also gonna notice that we aren't adding really any fat to this recipe. I was gonna say, like, what's gonna hold it together? Right, other than first ingredient, which is cashews. So we have a full cup of cashews. Guys, if you've made any of my sugar cookie um, recipes, I like to use cashews in them because it yeah. adds, It there is fat in here. We're not adding like coconut oil or butter or yeah. anything, but it just adds a creaminess and that you'll see that with how moist these cookies turn out to be. So the trick, guys, this is our little raw vegan trick. You put your cup of raw cashews in a bowl and you fill it with hot water. Hot water, okay. And you just let it sit for a little bit. As little as 10 minutes, or if you're like me and I'm like, I'm gonna make cookies in an hour and I'll just put them out on the counter. Don't let them Nobody go Nobody does that, but you die. <laughs> Nobody literally. <laughs> Don't let them go for too long because, you know, I don't know. They could get moldy maybe. Just 10 to 20 minutes, okay? So we're gonna just uh, drain them. And cashews are so cool. We're not gonna lose these guys. They're so cool because they get nice and soft and they're all plumpy. Yeah. Okay. I Thank you. what works in here. Okay, so perfect. So now guys, we're gonna throw one cup of these um, soaked cashews into the food processor. Now, you'll notice the color of these cookies. It's pink. It's pink because I don't know. There's something about holidays where yes. you, when you have a theme, it's probably a girl thing. Yeah. But if the cookie was less pretty, it would be less enjoyable. What well, would it be just like any other like day? Would it be necessarily yes. like specialty type? Right. You know, for the holidays. Exactly. A pink cookie. It just it feels on theme. Yeah. And I was thinking you could also use it for a baby shower if it's oh. like for a girl. Yes. Or for like an Easter party okay. or anything kind of springtime or girly yeah. to make it pink. However, we do need to add a little bit of coloring. Yes. So I found this at Sprouts, guys. This is straight up organic red beet powder. I texted Gina the <laughs> recipe and she was like, I have everything but the beet powder, probably for the pink. I was like, yes, exactly. For the pink. <laughs> so, guys, Gina, very good point. If you don't care how pink your cookies turn out, and I, ha I didn't do it without adding the beet powder, so I don't know how much natural pink comes from the protein. Probably not a lot. A little sprinkler. Yes. Okay. So, guys, we are gonna add a full teaspoon of this into our almond milk. Okay guys, so one cup of cashews. Now we are gonna add one teaspoon of this beet powder, which guys, back in the day when I first started blogging more than 10 years ago, I would, you know, wanna use natural coloring. Um. And so I would boil beets and I would actually like make the oh. water myself and do all of, of these course things. You did. But it's so cool how yes. go to Sprouts or anywhere guys, Amazon, and you get all the benefits and really, I mean, there are a whole bunch of vitamins and things in here. There's fiber. Anyways, it's a superfood. Yeah, I think it's good for like your oxygen levels or something like in your blood. I remember when I was doing Iron Man, they would be like, eat Does beets. This have, okay, it has 0.6 milligrams okay. of iron. I don't know if that's gonna help you Maybe much. Maybe 
No, like there's potassium. Oh, there's maybe it's the, maybe it's the potassium. potassium. When I was doing the there, Iron Man, yes, they said to have beets. That is a lo- 224 milligrams for one teaspoon. So I don't cramp up. Oh, or you yes. don't cramp up with your Fit Body exactly. workouts. Exactly. Guys, there's also calcium in here. Anyways, it's from a vegetable. And it's a beautiful color. So yes. you know. And most of those Valentine's treats, guys, that you're going to see at the grocery store, they're made with artificial dyes. Loft house cookies, you're good, mm-hmm. but you're not healthy. Right. <laughs> and just think of all the packaged treats and things that we could have this Sunday for Valentine's Day. How much junk is in them? Oh, right? Wow. And then on Monday, you're going to feel like, Ugh. Yes. Exactly. But we don't even have to sacrifice color. Or flavor. Or flavor. So, guys, I added one teaspoon of this beet powder into half a cup of almond milk. And I'm just going to mix it a little bit, even though it's going to go in there. But it's just kind of cool to see, guys, how, I mean, this is a pretty intense red coloring. So, guys, this means there's no reason to ever buy that red food coloring again to put in your food. Is that what it's called? Yeah. What you dye Easter eggs with? Yes. Yeah. Because, I mean, I know it's so fun to have different colors, but it is not good for us. Yeah. Okay, guys, so we are going to throw this beautiful pink milk. I mean, you could just, I mean, especially if you have a little girl and you want to, like, make her pink milk. Yes. Because they, you know, they sell these strawberry milks and things. I bet you could mix strawberry protein and a little bit of the beet powder into just plain milk or almond milk. And what a cool way to have your kids drink a protein shake. Yeah, get protein and a ton of vegetables. Or yeah. not vegetables, but like vitamins yeah. and minerals. Yeah, that's... Okay, somebody take that idea and run with it. That Actually, I might do that with it's Chloe. You. It's you. It might, You're going to take that idea and run I with might it. give it to Chloe tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. guys, so we're going to do... Oh, this is not open. Oh, that's fun. So we are going to do a teaspoon of vanilla extract, if I can get this open here. To add in here. Okay, so we'll start blending and then I will try to open this. I don't have sharp nails anymore since I I stopped going to the nail salon. Okay, guys, so uh, the goal, did you get it? No. (laughs) So the goal here, guys, is we need to blend this all the way down to where it's completely smooth. Kara's doing amazing work on the vanilla. (laughs) We can use a, a thorn from the roses. No? <laughs> I'm using my teeth. Okay, well, that works Sorry. too. Sorry. <laughs> my dentist. I'm sure your dentist is thrilled. Okay, guys, so we're just um, scraping down the sides because our cashews are not fully smooth. Oh my this is not coming off. <laughs> this is. I got the plastic off, and now TV, my guys. muscles are not oh, strong enough to open it. Sometimes these are crazy. We might need reinforcements. Maine, you want to come be a hero? We work out at Fit Body Boot Camp, everybody, and we can come on open camera, this Maine. Tie. Everyone wants to see you. This come on, is... be a hero, Maine. Be a hero. If you get it, if you get it, it's because <laughs> we loosened it for you. No, those things. Sometimes the vanilla extracts are. So, oh, look at that! Yay! Good job, for Maine. Good job, you must. You Thank you. As well as us. Okay, guys, we're adding a teaspoon of vanilla extract. <laughs> I was thinking that almond extract would also be really good oh, with yeah. these flavors with the strawberry. I yeah, I'll probably I love that almond next. extract. I do too. It smells so good too. The thing with almond extract, you only need a tiny bit. Yeah, I've you, overdone it. Yes, you got to be really careful. Whereas I feel like you can add a lot more vanilla. So yeah. I'm gonna actually add a whole teaspoon here. Just adds more flavor. Mm. And we're going to also add two eggs. So, guys, we're really getting all the wet ingredients into the food processor here. Okay, so, Kara, I feel like you need to share with the world about Galentine's Day. Oh, my gosh. Like, what is it? Why does it inspire you? And I... who do you hope is watching okay, right now? Okay, listen. <laughs> and will you be my Galentine? Yeah, well, <laughs> duh. <laughs> yes, I'll be your Galentine. Um, Amy Poehler, Leslie Nope. if you have ever watched <laughs> Parks and Rec, which I have a million times, I love Leslie Nope. Like She's hilarious. She's hilarious. She loves her people. She's she a does. hard worker. She stands up for what she, you know, like mm-hmm. just, she's just all in, she's you know. She's a go-getter. She's a go-getter. Um, and then Valentine's Day, which is ladies su- celebrating ladies. Yep. Ovaries before for ovaries. Yes. Usually over waffles. Over waffles, <laughs> fries before guys. There it is. <laughs> so it's taking the whole concept of Valentine's Day yes. and sharing it with your girlfriends yes. and having just like a fun friendship day. Yes. So we like, sometimes Valentine's Day is almost more exciting than Valentine's uh, Day. Yeah, I, mean. I think so too, because we don't always get to like 
do that together, yes, you know, especially exactly. like lately. So I love that. Okay, Valentine's. guys, we're going back to blending this up. So Amy Poehler, if you're watching, yes. <laughs> we love you. Happy Galentine's Day. Happy Galentine's Day. You're the ultimate Galentine. <laughs> she, she is. <laughs> she is. Amazing. I have a shirt. I don't want to ruin the surprise, but maybe <laughs> Chloe will, will be surprised by it. I have a Galentine's Day shirt with Leslie Nip's face on it. I'm going to wear tomorrow. <laughs> Let me guess. Amazon? Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> yeah. I love I was like, it. Leslie Nope uh, shirt. That's awesome. That's the first one that popped up. Okay, guys, there's only a handful of ingredients left in these really wholesome, nutrient, protein-packed cookies. So, guys, the dry ingredients, we are going to add half a cup of coconut flour. Woohoo! just full of fiber, two thirds a cup of granular swerve. And guys, the swerve, yes, <laughs> swerve is the sweetener that has zero sugar. You can really get creative with your own sweetener depending on what you like. Yeah. If you just wanna use stevia or if you are okay with adding some natural sugar, some coconut sugar would work or a little bit of honey. Oh, there you go. Would work as well. I like to use Swerve. It's been really fun to play around with. They have Kara brown always sugar. dances they when have I brown say sugar it. Swerve too. They have brown sugar Swerve, granular, and the confectioner yep. Swerve, yeah. which is really cool. I'm actually, this weekend, I'm working on a new recipe. Okay. Okay, you're gonna be excited. I, I, mean, I always say <laughs> it's It's coffee cake protein muffins. Oh yes. So you know like the streusel stuff on top oh, of yes. coffee? Yeah. So each muffin will have that like crumbled on it, but then it gets better okay. because I can use the confectioner's swerve okay. mixed with just like almond milk and do like a glazed okay. drizzle. All right, I'll be at right? your house. Just let me know when they're done. I know. <laughs> so I'm excited. And guys, if you love to cook and you love to cook with Truly products and really to make your recipes healthier and you would like a recipe from me every single week, we do have an SMS club, and I text you on Saturdays with a new recipe every week. So text TL Recipes to 49882, and you will join the club. TL Recipes 49882. Yeah. I'm already the part of the club. So okay, yeah, perfect. Part of the club. I, I was like, wait, you're not part oh, of the yes, club yet? I am a part of the club. <laughs> I look forward to that recipe every Saturday. Did you see the Texas sheet cake? <laughs> yes, I did. Right? I, I did, and I need to make that it's considering I'm super, from Texas. That's true. <laughs> it's perfect for like a summer barbecue. Yes. I feel like just yeah. that big old sheet cake. Oh, yes. I okay, guys, we have half a teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of sea salt that we're also going to throw in here. Now, really, our last dry ingredient is our protein, which, guys, look at, I mean, to have 13 grams of protein per cookie, yeah. you knew know. that there was going to be a substantial amount. This is the Truline Premium Strawberries and Cream Whey Protein, which guys, you can see, I'll just I'll just hold it up. Yeah. Little pieces of strawberry. So cute. Which is amazing. And guys, any of these products, if you're interested, it's truline.com. Um, yeah, I feel like this has just changed the game for protein. I agree. And like, I have so many people after you did the tasting at the mm -hmm. studio, um, what she, Lindsay, she actually was like, I need a Diana in my life. I'm like, you do have a Diana in your life. Like, you, she can text you and she, you go to her yes. blog and you know, watch her shows. Help. Yes, I'm really here to help. She said her, her boyfriend um, is going through her protein. She's like, I got this oh, yeah. for me. me. And he is like drinking it. Yes. She's like, so I need more protein. It tastes so good. And it then does. you find out how clean the ingredients are. Yes. And it's like, Okay, exactly. no brainer. All right, guys, we're gonna mix these dry ingredients in. I'm saving the protein. I don't like to over mix protein, so we're gonna add that last. Smart. It's See what a pretty so color good. it is? I know, it really is. I really feel like it's worth the beet powder, guys. Yeah. Just the, the color it's so makes pretty. it funner. It does. And then the contrast with the white chips with the pink. It makes it pop. Makes it pop. Yeah. And like, how cute is this to like even take so like fun. Galentine's, Valentine's, mm -hmm. but like you said, Baby shower, bridal yeah, shower. Exactly. Easter. Easter. Yep. I love it. Anything. Maybe my birthday. Yeah, your birthday. <laughs> that's coming up. You'll make cookies for us for your birthday. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. Okay, guys, this is a full one and a half cups okay, one and of half the cup protein, cup. which is amazing. Yes. But then on the other hand, hopefully you don't run out. I know. I'm always <laughs> I'm kind of weird about my my supplement storage at home because it's like if I see there's only like 
three containers it's left. Dwindles, I'm you're like, like I'm ah, out. <laughs> I'm ordering another case. <laughs> okay, guys, so we are gonna mix it and blend it here, but we're just gonna be careful. We're not gonna over mix it. This is not one of those situations where you can just turn it on and walk away. Okay. Like when Good I make know. my protein peanut butter, <sighs> which you just let it go forever, which I always make it for the guys in the project. Yeah like five giant <laughs> jars of protein on Sunday. We, I will have to make peanut butter on a show. Yes. It just takes so long and it's loud. So it's yeah. not very like video friendly. That's true. But it's so good. It's the best peanut butter. I love peanut butter. So guys, if you do want to make protein peanut butter at home, it's just roast some peanuts. Okay. Just stick them on a pan in the oven until they're nice and golden. The kitchen will smell really good. Throw in as many as you can to the food processor several scoops of protein. Okay, any I flavor? I like to do the vanilla whey. Okay. But really any flavor. Okay. Several scoops. Several. A little drizzle of honey, just raw honey. Okay. Just give it, or if you're really watching your sugars, do some swerve or some stevia. There it is. And then some salt, depending on if your um, peanuts were salted or not. Okay. Throw in some salt and you just blend and blend and blend and blend until it's like perfectly smooth. So what you're saying is to not add like a jar of peanut butter and then all the protein. Asking for a friend that may make that mistake and try to hack a hacker. There's there's <laughs> no reason to do that because just it just all blends up anyway and the whole, the real peanuts like blending it yourself. Okay. It's just magical. Yeah. I'm going down a rabbit hole. Okay, we're going to blend this. <laughs> I get excited about food. She does. I love food I and I love healthy food. Me too. Okay, Your we're gonna healthy pulse food in this. particular. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have our beautiful dough that is almost ready here. I'm gonna get in there. And then the final thing that we're gonna add, guys, is our white lilies chocolate chips, which I this. feel like this is one of the the newer it flavors. Is. But it's I it's quickly become one of my favorites. Yeah, because it changes the game a little bit. Like you can have other flavors mm -hmm. that didn't necessarily, I mean, everything goes with chocolate, but you know, like a little different. I just feel like normal white chocolate, like with the sugar is so sweet. Like it's overly sweet yeah. for me, but this is perfect. Yes, I know. I love it. I'm just looking at it, not eating it. Okay, so <laughs> we're finishing off just getting the protein powder fully mixed into our dough. That is perfect. And now guys, I am not gonna use the blade for mixing in the chips. We're just gonna do that. We're just gonna do that and then mix it in. That was it for the, the dough. But guys, what a difference between normal cookie dough. Huge. I mean, if you guys, let's just think about normal cookie dough. If you went to the bakery and you you know got some Valentine's cookies that were you know the sugar cookies with the little frosting on top, I mean, it's mostly refined sugar, refined flour. Enriched, bleached flour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Butter or lard of some oh, kind, right? Like Arden cookies. Yeah, <laughs> but then if you think of all of the nutrient dense things that we were able to put in these cookies, and guys, you know, I love doing these, these cooking shows for you guys and showing you just the different ingredients you can use and just like the possibilities, yes. but it's always, uh, it's, it's like a little bittersweet because I, I can't, let you taste it because I feel I can. yes she can <laughs> but I just I feel like you know you're looking at the ingredients that I'm using and you may have your own idea of what something made with protein would taste like or cashews and it's like that's kind of weird yeah. but when you taste it then you realize like oh my gosh yeah. this is so much better for me and it tastes better yeah and that's the, the like the magic piece that like you have to make it yourself and try yeah. it and even just like the smell of this like how it how much so strawberry good. you smell and just the beautiful color knowing it that it so comes good. from beets it's just i really hope that we yeah. are inspiring you to try it you know maybe you haven't made anything like this before but maybe this is the one thing you're like you know what i'm gonna try it and see if she do it for leslie no do it y'all do it for love <laughs> do it for love <laughs> Okay, guys, so again, I made 12 cookies, which they're really ginormous. I mean, like, that's a meal right there. It's a meal. For who? It's a meal. This it's is a, a meal snack. For me. It's, you know, it's, they're big. If you wanna make them smaller, you're gonna do 24. Okay. And you're just gonna cut them in half. So we can show you both, okay. actually. 
I love this stuff. If you want, guys, you can um, throw this dough in the refrigerator, maybe just for 10 minutes, just to make it a little less sticky when you're working with it. I usually can't wait that long, I, so I just go same. for it. I'm like, put it in the freezer, what? <laughs> okay, okay, so guys, um, an ice cream scoop is the size of the 12, the big ones, okay? So if you did wanna do smaller ones, then you would just do about half of that. So let's see, here's a small one. Oh, it's all small and little. <laughs> that one's not for Kara. Yeah, that's not mine. Okay, so I'm just gonna get my hand sticky. Okay. So I do like to shape it, guys. Not, you don't have to spread it out too much, but I do like to just make sure that it has a nice round shape because I care how they look. And then same with the little ones, just like so that, cute. guys. So the oven is 350, which the last protein cookies we made, I did crank yeah. the oven up, which that was specifically for a chocolate chip. I wouldn't do it for this because we wouldn't want to really brown the beautiful white chips. So 350, if you're doing the giant cookies, you're gonna do it for 10 minutes. If you're doing the little cookies, about seven. I would so look, quick. I would watch it at seven, maybe leave it for eight because these really are naturally very moist. Um, but then pop them out, always err on the side of, it's, I'm not 100% sure if it's done versus it's overcooked, <laughs> now it's dry, now it's you know lost it's some ruined. of its magic, <laughs> exactly. So that's it guys, this is our strawberries and cream protein cookies. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I mean, I hope that we've inspired you to do something just a little bit healthier this Valentine's yeah, Day. Just a, one little healthier choice will make a big difference. And Kara, thank you for cooking with me. Thank you for and having for being me, my Valentine. Valentine. It's always such a fun time. It is. So guys, I will be back next Thursday, maybe making coffee cake muffins. I don't know. I mean... We'll see. We'll see what happens or maybe a dinner recipe. <laughs> um, but guys, take care, do something healthy, and don't forget to take your wellness shot every single day. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all.